Eddie. Uh, uh. Wake up, Eddie. Uh, where's his time? Oh, no. Oh, you must have it out with him, Eddie. Twenty minutes. Twenty bleeding minutes, Kip. That's all I've had, Vi. Do you hear, Eddie? I can't go on. It's wearing me out, Vi. It's wearing you out. I like that. Oh, I like that very much, I must say. Give over, Vi. You must go and have it out with him. At two in the morning. Don't be daft. Do you want me to lose the baby? Just go back to sleep, will you? I told you we should never have left him alone. Do us a favour and stop talking, Vi. Mum says we can have the back room. No. Oh. So the council gives us something better. I'm not going back to Emma Lempstead or your ma. But we can't stay in this dump with that jungle drumming and the voodoo being put on me. We was lucky to find it. Lucky? Oh, I like that. You'll have to go back to the council, Eddie. We don't have the point. The point. You don't listen, Vi. You've got to have the point. Tell you straight, Eddie. If you don't have it out with him or with that Mr. Bloomberg, I'm going to go back to Emma Lempstead and you can suit yourself what you do. Can we have a bit of shut eye? What's that going on up there? It stopped. Oh. Well, it'll start again just now, or the voodoo. Turn the light off. You said you'd speak to Mr. Bloomberg. We wasn't there. He's in league with them, I shouldn't wonder. Eh? To get us out. Oh, mm. me expecting. Hmm. You know what, Eddie? He could be one of those. You know, of what you call... For God's sake, go to sleep, Vi. Is that what we saw at the pictures? What was it called, Eddie? At the Odeon, the, the drums of... The, the, the guns of something at the Odeon, Ed. With the spears and that, sending out these messages. Uh, talking drums, that's what they were. Suppose he's one of them, Eddie, sending out messages to the others, like telling them. Passing the word along, like in the jungle, Ed. Et maintenant, nous commençons la leçon mm. numéro deux. That's what he's doing. Vous that's what's a different complexion on it. If he's one of them, I mean, well... He could be all over, I shouldn't wonder. Just waiting for the message, like listening for it. Passing it on. All across the rooftops, Ed. Like those, what you call, Zulus, wouldn't it? Ed? Here, yeah. Eddie! Mm. Oh, stop, Eddie! He's putting the food to one us again. Yeah. You'll have to go up there, Ed. Uh, have it out with him. Oh, all right. Be careful, Eddie. He may have one of those, you know, spear things. Look, I'm going, and I. That's what you want, innit? Now, for God's sake, stop yakking! Here. You. You in there. God, no. Little brass monkey stop it. Is out here. You. Open up. Yeah, up. Hey. Who's there? Oh, the name's Marsh. From downstairs. How? How? How do you mean, how? Oh, understand English, do you? Hey. Monsieur, pas de français? Hey. Je suis là. Listen, mate. I don't trick that native lingo. It's that drum, see? And that other carry-on. But you stick to her being a wife, know what I mean? Yes, sir. Listen! Are you going to open up? It's like a bloody icebox out here. Enough to freeze the balls off. A... Open that blasted door, will you? Oh. <gasps> Just a minute. Just a minute. You speak with the British Council, please. What's that, then? I, uh, diplomat. It's, it's that drum, see? Comment? The drum. Just watch it, mate. Uh, Allez-vous-en. Je ferme la porte. Now, listen. Allez. Here! Allez, monsieur. Don't you come that naughty stuff with me, mate. Oh. Oh, 
Just watch it. Watch it. Eddie. Just watch it, I said. Watch it. What did he say? Well, like I said, he don't speak English. Was he speak, Ed? Oh, native. Native like. Zulu, is it, Eddie? Couldn't rightly say. Said he came from this place. This place. What place? Wagga something. Wagga Wagga? Oh, something like that. Now let's get some sleep, eh? Wagga Wagga? That's in Australia, Eddie. How do you know? It was on the telly. There was this Joseph talking about it. Turn out the light. It's Aboriginal, that is. You don't look Australian. They've got these, um, what you call? Go to sleep, by Boomerangs. And things round there, you know. This Joseph was explaining it. Go to sleep, for God's sake. Huh? Wake up, Eddie! Oh. Oh. oh, that settles it, Eddie. There's only one thing for it. What is it now? We'll have to get it. Get what? That drum. What are you on about? I've worked it out, Eddie. You go out and tell him he's wanted on the phone. At three in the morning? Tar very much. It'll be afternoon there. Where? Wagga Wagga. A phone call to a public call box. He won't know the difference. You take it off the hook... Go up and call him, and I'll wait till I see you come down with him. Then I'll go up with a torch. And what if he calls the cops? You know, Eddie, I'm beginning to wonder whether you care whether I lose this baby or not. It's either that or I'm going back to him and is it? Oh, God, fellow! Well? It's there. There? I'm all in, Eddie. All carved. Carving, that is. Looking at me, Eddie. Hey? It's all eyes. Where's he? Going back upstairs. He's coming back. Bloody hell. Drop the door, ready. Right. Go away! Madame! Get out! Monsieur de Don, madame! Baz off! I am a. Ma. So what? I am a diplomat with Republic of Upper Volta at Paris Embassy. Get on! You see my drum, please? Push off! C'est tambour. C'est de mon village, madame. Quand je le joue, cela me fait penser à mon village, à ma famille. Ah, madame, sans mon petit tambour, comment chanterais-je la chanson de mon village? What's he on about? Now listen, you! Just you try putting that voodoo on me once more and I'll call the cops, you hear? You try that voodoo on me just once more and see what happens. Just once! Oh dear, these English, they are very much sauvage. Hey, Bebe, sit down. He's gone. Now let's get a bit of kip, can we? Now what's up? Is that drum, Eddie? Well, you've got it, haven't you? Isn't that what you wanted? What more do you want? A carving. It's like you call a fetish, a fertility. I never get a wink of sleep with that looking at me, Ed. I don't know. I really don't. Threat away, Eddie. How do you mean? Out there. Take it away, Ed. Do you think I'm going out there again? Out the window, then. Oh, I don't know. Dressing, undressing, coming, going in, now, uh, up, down, no bloody kit. And Eddie. Just do us a favour and stop yakking for a minute, that's all. Oh, Eddie. And stop following me about. Get out all the sounds. Let's wake up Antlanta. Come on, let's go. We've got nothing to lose. Yes, let out all the sounds. <laughs> there, 
I told you it was catching. <laughs> Let everyone in Atlanta <laughs> catch the disease. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, set up the sounds. Sounds? Yes, like this. Allow everything to move. Move your eyes, your neck, your body, your hands, your legs. Sounds. Dance! 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 Power to the people! Down with Atlanta! Down with Atlanta! Dance to freedom! Dance with us! Will Ate and Mamacini Solenopsis Germinata 5359 oblique? No, I do not need to report to an eradication room until 3.45 precise. Please, do not make me, do not make me, do not take me. I'm not, I am not, I am not, I am not. Come on, Mazzini. No! I am not with her! Eradication room. Yes. Forgive me. Forgive me. This seems to be the only way out of this place. Perhaps others will find a way out of Atlanta now. Perhaps. What is that to us? I would have loved to have seen the sea. Goodbye, Atta. Goodbye, Tini. And hold me. Hold me. And move your eyes. <laughs> Those staring eyes. I've married an idiot. Look at him. Carbon ash powdering his lips and bits of leathery eggs sticking up his nose. I've married a madman. In Wedding Breakfast by Brian Lee, the husband and wife were played by Martin Jarvis and Rosalind Ayres. The play was directed by Cherry Cookson.